Who are you and where are you from? Uh, I'm Charmian Hughes and I'm from London in the UK. Nice. And what do you do? I'm a comedian. I devise shows. I also teach comedy sometimes. Um, and I brought my show to New Zealand. Have you ever been here before? I have. This is my fifth visit. And my last visit was in March 2020, which was uh, cut very suddenly short. Oh, it's so lovely to be back. And also, it's not just being back. It's restoring my confidence in travel and in myself, just becoming normal again. All right. So if you had someone who, if someone brought their friend along to your show and the friend knew nothing about it, how would you describe your event to them? Well, uh, okay. I would say that it's a stand-up show, but it's got themes and it's got stories. Um, and it's about... I say it's about jealousy, obsession and revenge. It's about how as a kid you can get kind of the wrong impression of the world, which you carry through um, into your adult life. And my impression of the world I got from a 1965 B-movie, really scrappy adventure film um, mm -hmm. uh, with its values and its kind of horror and themes of eternal life or feminine attraction um, and it kind of like affected how I saw the world. Um, and it's also about my lifelong jealousy of my older sister and our relationship. It's about, yeah, yeah. It's called <laughs> She. And it's about the many aspects of, of She. What is it? What makes us become ourselves, really? Then my next question would be, why do you art? I have found performing the best way of being normal um, mm -hmm. that I've ever had in my life. I was always an outsider. Um, I felt awkward. Um, I wanted to express myself. As soon as I found comedy and performance, I found a kind of, I found a whole world of people like me, um, a little bit eccentric, but also with a lot to say. And I yeah. felt very happy ever since I first started. Stand-up comedy is a lot like poetry. I know that's a weird thing to say, but, you know, you have a whole world in a very mm. short little kind of spotlight of, 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 of you know, speaking or expressing. Um, and that's what I love about it. What does Dunedin Fringe Festival mean to you? Well, I love the Dunedin Fringe Festival. I stumbled into it in 2017 um mm -hmm. some scots performers top comedians told me about it mm -hmm. i absolutely love it i love the fact it's small intense lots of different kinds of artists i love the city um i love the way that it kind of you know alludes to edinburgh so much with all the place names yeah and i, I know that. edinburgh quite well that, i find that very kind of beautiful I love the shops, I love the fish and chips, I love the oysters, bluff oysters. I love everything. And the festival is perfect. It's a perfect, like, micro festival. Um, mm -hmm. And you can get to see everything. And New Zealand audiences are such great audiences because they're appreciative. They know that you've kind of made an effort to bring them something. You know, you've devised something for them. Yeah. And so they... They accept that. That's their kind of, that's their first premise is to sit and accept it. And you might find a, a British audience, they'll be, oh, you know, I hope this is going to be okay. I hope it's going to be good. Hope, you know, right. they, and they're very kind of like on edge even before they start in the UK. Yeah. But Dunedin audiences are so open and intelligent.